take a look at this table. There's a group of ring activators, orthopair directors, and a group of ring deactivators, meta directors. And then there's the oddballs. Halogens are ring deactivators, but orthopair directors. Let me first talk about why electrophilic aromatic substitution is slower when halogen is attached to the benzene ring. The first step in electrophilic aromatic substitution is formation of a bond with the electrophile using a pair of the electrons from the pi system. These electrons are drawn to the electrophile. Halogens are electron withdrawing, so they pull electron density from the pi system. So this first step of the reaction is slower because there's less electron density to pull the electrophile toward it. This makes complete sense. Electrophiles are drawn when there's higher pi density. Electron withdrawing halogens lower the electron density. There's slower reaction. So we get why halobenzenes react slower with electrophiles. That makes them ring deactivators. But why are they orthopair directors? Let's go back and take a look at that chart again. The alkyl and aryl groups donate electrons by induction, but all of the other substituents in the ring activators or the pair directors are electron donating by resonance. They all have at least one unshared pair on the heteroatom that can be shared with the pi system, increasing electron density in the aromatic ring. Take a look. They all have oxygen or nitrogen, and there's always at least one unshared pair. For the ring deactivators, this is never the case. And when we get down here to the halogens, well, they all have unshared pairs that can be used for resonance stabilization of the intermediate. We need to take a closer look at that to understand why this results in orthopara direction. I've shown the three possibilities, substitution at ortho, meta, and para positions. The relative rates of these three reactions will determine the product ratios. The relative rates of these reactions will be determined by the relative stabilities of the intermediates that are being made. We rely on the Hammond postulate to make that assumption. So now we simply need to look carefully at the relative stabilities of these three intermediates to determine why ortho and para are formed faster. I've drawn out the three resonance structures for these three intermediates that are formed. The top one is the ortho substitution, and I've drawn the para position in the middle because these are the two that are closely related mechanistically. And at the bottom, I've shown the meta substitution intermediate. Look at the ortho substitution first. There's something very special about this intermediate. The halogen has a lone pair of electrons that can be used to form a fourth resonance form. This puts a positive charge on the halogen. Now you know resonance theory says the more resonance forms that are possible, the more stabilization results from resonance. We've got a fourth form, so it contributes more to the stability of this ortho substitution intermediate. But there's even something more important. In this fourth resonance form, all atoms have a filled outer shell. The halogen and all the carbons have an octet of electrons around them. This is particularly stable. So the ortho substitution leads to an intermediate that is highly stabilized by a specially stable fourth resonance form. This is also true for the para substitution. Looking at the middle resonance structure, we can easily envision this lone pair of electrons being used to form another resonance structure. I'm going to write it off to the side here. Again, all the atoms in this resonance structure have a filled outer shell. It's especially stable. And the para substitution leads to a carbocation intermediate that's especially stabilized, so it's formed faster. Now looking at the meta substitution, you see that the positive charge is never on the carbon that has the halogen attached to it. So this fourth resonance form isn't possible. The intermediate in meta substitution doesn't enjoy any special stability and is formed slower. So there you have it. In both ortho and para substitution, the first step leads to an especially stable intermediate, so it's formed faster. And ortho and para products predominate when there's a halogen on the aromatic ring. Now this table makes perfect sense. There's three groups. 
Most ring activators are orthopara directors, and most ring deactivators are meta directors. But the halogens fall in the special category. They withdraw electron density by induction, so the ring deactivators, and at the same time the halogens are orthopara directing because substitution at those positions leads to intermediates that are more stable and therefore form faster than substitution at the meta position.